Okay, so in this uh, situation we have a die which is very, very concentrated and actually beyond uh, the range of the standard curve. And so we can't actually uh, just put the die straight into the spectrometer and measure the absorbance. So for example, even if the die is very, very, very low concentration, uh, for example, 0 0.3 millimolar, this is 0 0.3 millimoles per litre, which is 0 0.3 micromoles per milliliter, which is 300 nanomoles per milliliter. And so you see here in the standard curve, the maximum the curve really goes up to is about 80 nanomoles per milliliter. And if this dye, even at the very low concentration, is 300 nanomoles per milliliter, then it's way, way, way off the chart. And so we need to find a way to actually dilute this dye down uh, into the working range of our spectra, remember, which is between about 1 uh, and 0 0.1 as well. So we need to get the dye into this range somewhere. And a nice target absorbance is about in the middle of this range, okay, which is about 0 0.5. And so we can say this is our target target absorbance we want to hit. Okay, so in this situation, if our target absorbance is 0 0.5, then we have to ask ourselves, well, what concentration will give us that target absorbance? Okay, we know the Beer-Lambert law, which is A equals E C L. And for this particular dye, we know that the millimolar extinction coefficient is 12.5. What that means is that the extinction coefficient is 12.5 per millimolar per centimeter. Okay, so if our target absorbance is 0 0.5, then our target concentration can be worked out. So our target absorbance, we plug it in, 0 0.5 is equal to the extinction coefficient, which is 12.5 per millimolar per centimeter. Okay, uh, times by the target concentration, times by the path length, which is one centimeter. That's what you notice is this cancels out and this cancels out. If we put uh, this on the other side, then we essentially have 0 0.5 over 12.5 per millimolar is equal to C, which means that C is equal to... zero point zero four and now the units are important here uh, over here we have a uh, per millimolar but because that's inversed uh, then and it's on the bottom then we can uninverse that and bring it to the top and so these units will be zero point four millimolar and let's just break this down a bit more zero point four millimoles per liter is equal to zero point zero four uh, micromoles per milliliter which is equal to 40 nanomoles per milliliter. So what this is saying is that if we're able to get a concentration in a cuvette, okay, so if in this cuvette there is this concentration, then technically the absorbance should be 0 0.5 because that was the target absorbance we used to work this out in the first place. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for about a concentration of about 40 nanomoles per milliliter inside a cuvette to give us the target absorbance of 0 0.5. Okay, so we know that our target concentration is uh, 40 nanomoles per milliliter. Okay, now we have two situations to consider. We have a situation where it's very low and a situation where it's very high. We have to consider both situations here. So we say to ourselves, if, okay, if the concentration of the dye is 0 0.3 millimolar, and we say also if the concentration is 1.2 millimolar, we have to consider them separately. Okay, so let's start with... Uh, this over here first. So if the concentration is 0 0.3 millimolar, this is 0 0.3 millimoles per liter, which is 0 0.3 micromoles per milliliter, which is uh, 300 nanomoles per milliliter. Okay, actually let's uh, convert it a little differently. Let's take this down to 0 0.3 nanomoles per microliter. Okay. We can do it the same on this side if um, that's 1.2 millimolar. So if the situation is that it's 1.2 millimolar, this means that if we break it down, it'll end up being 
uh, 1.2 nanomoles per microliter. Okay, so this is saying that if the concentration of the dye is uh, very low, okay, the lowest um, in the range given, then if we take out one microliter of that dye, then in that one microliter will be 0.3 nanomoles. Okay, now the thing is we don't want 0.3 nanomoles, we actually want 40 nanomoles because that's our target, um, that's our target amount of nanomoles inside the cuvette. Okay, so we put 40 over here and we put that over there and we work out how to get from 0.3 to 40. Okay, and so that would be uh, multiplied by 133.3 repeater. So therefore, we do the same here. So we do 133.3 repeater and we get 133.3 uh, microliters. Okay, so this means that if we have a cuvette and we put in, whoops, we put in 133 microliters of our unknown dye, the rest of it we top up with water. Okay, so this one would be H2O and this would be 867 microliters of water. So if we get all this together, okay, and have that one mil total, um, if the dye is this concentration, okay, then there should be 40 nanomoles inside this uh, cuvette. And if there's 40 nanomoles inside this one mil inside this cuvette, then technically that, that concentration should give us an absorbance of 0.5. Okay. Come over here to the other side and we consider the case of the high concentration. Okay, so 1.2 millimolar. 1.2 millimolar expands out to 1.2 nanomoles per microliter. Again, we don't want 1.2 nanomoles, we want 40 nanomoles. So how many microliters will give us that? Okay, so to get from there to there, we times by 33.3. And therefore to get from there to there, we also times by 33.3. And so in this situation, what we'll have is in a cuvette, we'll put in just 33.3 microliters of the dye, and the rest of it will be will be water. So this will be 967-ish uh, microliters of water, which will make up a total of one milliliter. Again, if the dye is this concentration, okay, the highest it, it's probably going to be, okay, if the dye is that concentration, um, and we take out 33.3 microliters of that dye and put it into, uh, fill it up to one mil with uh, water in the cuvette, there technically should be 40 nanomoles in that cuvette, and that 40 nanomoles in that cuvette should give us an absorbance of 0.5. Okay, so we're counting for both the low and also the high uh, ranges here. And we might as well pick a number in the middle just um, to get a few more replicates going. And so let's do one uh, which is kind of mid-range. So here we've got, a, here we have about 33 microliters of our dye. Here we have 133 microliters of dye. So here maybe we'll pick something in the middle, maybe 70, okay, which means you have 900, 930 microliters of, of water. Okay, so you measure, or you make up all those three uh, solutions and you measure them in the spectro uh, and they give you, you know, different absorbances. And the co calculation from these absorbances uh, back to the uh, initial concentration or the concentration in the bottle is similar um, to the other uh, the, the the calculation we talked about in the other video.